I can't hear you now. Everybody here looking live with Burr Over Live here on the Watching Network. We're getting a late start. We are in the top of the second. Are in a, already in a 1-0 ball game. As Capri gets another strikeout for the day. Yeah, Green Canyon's not looking so bad today. Uh, the Bears scored one in the first inning. Bailey Tyre got a hit and made it all the way around. Pops up to first and lands foul ball. And in this inning, we had number 36, Hinton. She had a great double. She hit a deep ball in right field. And then Capri walked the batter after her. So that's where we are now. This one pops short. Capri's going to get it, shoot it over to first. And that's going to be the third out to wrap up the top of the second. Again, sorry for the slow start. We'll go to a commercial and uh, reset everything for the bottom of the second. Tell your friends we're on. We'll be right back. For a genuinely warm welcome with small town friendly service, stop by The Grill. They have slowly smoked ribs, wings, and briskets, along with homemade appetizers, unique sandwiches, pizzas, and burgers. They also have tasty desserts. The Grill is the perfect location for family get-togethers or business lunches. If you'd rather, they can cater an event for you. For some added fun, call the bowling center and reserve a lane. It's your family night or swing by on $2 Tuesdays. If you like cosmic bowling, stop by on Fridays and Saturdays. No matter what you like, the grill has something for everyone. The Pie Dump at Bartiel Catering is a proud sponsor of the Bear River Bears. Owners Mac and Cherie Munns have been in business for 35 years. They have a full breakfast menu, yummy options for lunch, as well as a student menu. Come taste deliciousness with the best donuts in town and their famous hot rolls and gravy. If you're new, they'll treat you to the rip and dip experience. Rent out the Pie Dump's back room for a work lunch or family dinner. They'll even cater. Call 435-257-3947 for more information today. All right, welcome back. Okay, trap. Some of the lady bears off here in the bottom of the second. That one high for a ball. Not that, the other one. Not that. <laughs> Genius. Welcome back, Amy. Hey, it's good to be back. It's a little bit windy, but the sun is out. Great day to be at the park. Trap hits it, gets a pass, second base. Solid single. Yeah, good start for the Bears. They're looking pretty good out there. Taylor Fox had an awesome effort. She made a, a great catch on a drive. I'm trying to think how to tell you, it was awesome. She's fun to watch. Pitch goes ball. Why the old? You know, the sun is right in my eyes, but um, taking a stab right here. Looks like Oakley Maxfield might be up, freshman for Bear River. Doesn't look like Josie to me, so I'm going to say it's Oakley right now. We'll see when she gets on base. Another ball. Yep, 
You know, the field looks especially good today. Dura Edge does a fantastic job keeping up our diamond. I'm not sure if he cut the grass or not, but it looks awesome. Now one misses as well. She'll take her base for ball four. Yep, so that puts uh, Oakley Maxfield on first base. <laughs> Looks like Maddie Morris. First pitch misses, ball one. He's changed the lineup a little bit today. So yep, we got number 30, Maddie Morris. She's a junior for Bear River. Up to bat. This one hit center field. Caught. Runners stay at their bases. So you still got runners on second and first. With one out. Yeah, that was a nice deep hit. Went right to her, though. She can find a gap. That's a good double right there. So if ever hitting the ball well, we just need to find a gap. Two on, one out. And the pitcher goes high for a ball one. And we have number 21, Josie Larkin, up to bat. She's been playing second base for the Bears. Doing a good job out there. She's a junior for Bear River. This pitch in the dirt. She's going to run a third. Gets down and a safe. Good base running by Oakley Trout. A runner on first and third. With one out. Looks to miss again for another ball. Yeah, Josie's good about hitting the ball deep. At least if it's infield, it's a nice barn burner. Should be able to score on this one. Another one misses. They'll load the bases off the walk. Looks like we're back at the top of the order. We've got number 13, Sadie Call in the box. She grounded out the first time she was up today. Just a warm up, I'm sure. Base is loaded. Let's see her put it out. She's been hitting really good. Another ball in the dirt. Ball two. Green Canyon is winless in the region. They're tied for fifth with Skyview. A record of 0-3. This pitch low and outside again. Which is kind of funny because that's who Green Canyon is. <laughs> when they built the new school, that's that's where they came from. The split with Skyview. They have an overall record of six and six. They played I believe South Summit yesterday. I think they lost, lost that one as well. Oh, I like their uniforms. They look good. They look sharp. This one hit foul. Green Canyon's pitcher trying to work way back into the count. Three and one, one out, bases loaded. Mercedes hits this one over to second. I think she missed her on the tag, and they're going to get one out of second. The Lady Bears score a run. 
You know, it kind of looked like she hesitated right there, but that's, in my opinion, good base running by Josie. Uh, she saved a double play. <laughs> I know when you're running from home to first, they want you to stop, so you have to make the play so you don't just run into the tag, and I think that's what she did there. And it worked. So instead of a double play, we just got one out of that. So good job, Josie. Good bunt, runs down the line, rolls foul. Yeah, good bump by Paley Tire. If that had been in, uh, then we could have moved a runner, got her on. Try again, see what she does. This one hit over the shortstop. She'll sling it over to first, and it gets past her. They keep running the bases. She'll turn that one into a double. And old Lady Bears score again. Yeah, Bear, we're doing a good job putting the ball in play. So we're up to our number three batter. We got Taylor Fox in there. Taylor Fox in the box. This one hit over to short. Go for the sure out at first, and they do get her. Lady Bears get some runs on the board. Extend their lead, three nothing. We'll be back for the top of the third. Thanks for joining us and hang with us. Andy Marchant Photography specializes in portraits, family pictures, bridals, and engagements. But Marchant is now gearing up for another great season of Bear River Sports. Check out his website, andymarchant.com, and let him help you preserve your memories. Stop by Mo Foods for some healthy sandwiches and salads. If you're like the Lady Bears and have game, bring it on to Old West Game. Get hand-cut jerky and salami with everything boned out. Open during the hunting season, closed on Sundays. In the mood for a burger and fries? Look no further than the grill. They have plenty of mouth-watering options for everyone. Stop by for lunch or dinner and complete the meal with a tasty dessert. All right, welcome back. We're at the top of the third. Capri Tune on the mound. Lady Bears lead 3-0. This pitch misses for a ball one. And this one goes low, ball two. This one low again. I'm sure the wind doesn't help. No, I'm sure Capri's not happy that it's real windy today. This one shot back to Capri. And they'll get her out of first. One out. Here in the top of the third. Team play at first.
this one high for a ball. That one's in there for strike one. Swing and a miss, strike two. One ball, two strikes. Capri with the pitch. There's a swing over to shortstop. And they in a getter at first. Yeah, great play by Taylor. Even on the left side, she can still throw her out. Two outs, this one's a swing and a miss. The Green Canyon batter. Another one. Capri with 0 and 2. Swing and a miss. She goes down swinging. And that is out number three. Let's see what the Lady Bears can do up to bat here in the bottom of the third when we come back. On Saturday, April 21st, from 5 to 8 p.m., the Pie Dump is hosting their monthly steakhouse dinner. Call today to reserve your spot for a delicious meal and fun atmosphere. It's perfect for a date night or family fun. Cost is $16 to $25 a plate with appetizers and dessert available. Kent's is your one-stop shop for fresh produce, bakery items, deli, and meat. Stop by today for fast, friendly service. D&B Electric can get you the perfect appliance for your home, make repairs, and help with all your electrical needs. Whether it's drinks or treats, get your fix at Soda Fix. Welcome back for the bottom of the third. Sorry for the late start. Yep, we got senior number 33, Capri Tune in the box for the Bears. First pitch to her is a ball one. She's been doing a great job pitching this year. Call that one a strike. One ball, one strike is a pitch. Capri. Nice poke out to center. Solid single. Yeah, good job by Capri. Speed up runner Cody Gibbs coming in, taking first base. Now we got Ashley Hess in the box. She's been doing a great job behind the plate this year and last year and every year. Let's pitch high. This one hit, doesn't leave the dirt, can't be caught, and we'll have a single. 
That's such a hard one for your runners to know what to do. You think she's going to catch it. I don't know if uh, she just misread it or if the wind blew it out of the way, but she struggled a little bit. So our runners don't know if they're coming or staying or, or what they're doing. So luckily that worked out good for the Bears right there. Yeah, looking at the replay, it looked like the wind was just blowing the ball away from the second baseman trying to grab it. Yeah, it was just a little blooper to second. It turned into quite a handful. So Ashley has to be in the catcher. She has a speed up runner coming for her. We got Olivia Taylor. She's a freshman on first base. First pitch to her, low, ball one. More games going on today. You got Bever baseball going on. They are at Ridgeline, starting their series off with them. We've got Oakley Trap in the box for the Bears. Another ball. Two up, two on. Great way to start inning. This one hit back to the backstop for a foul ball. Got Bear vs. Soccer. They are home, I believe. Well, they should be warm, all that running around. <laughs> a lot warmer than we are. Here comes a 3 1 pitch. That one goes high. We'll load the bases off that walk. So now we have number 16, Oakley Maxfield, in the, at the plate. She walked last time she was up to bat. In there for strike one. This one looks low, ball, ball one. You know, even on cold days, Bear River does a great job bringing fans out to support the team. This one hit over, gets past, shortstop. Center fielder having a hard time grabbing it. The Lady Bears extend their lead. Yep, we had two score on that hit, so Barry's doing a good job. Now we got Maddie Morris up. First one of Maddie is outside, ball one. She had a nice hit last time, we just need to find a gap. and chopped over to third. She can't get it. That ball will roll out to left field. Bring another run home. Yeah, Green Canyon struggling a little bit on the left side over there today. But jobs, or Bear's doing a good job putting the ball in play. All right, now we got Jill C. Larkin, second baseman, up to bat. in there for a strike. Going in there for another strike.
Here comes the one two pitch. Blowing outside. Two on with no out. This one chopped foul down the third baseline. Again, we'd like to thank our sponsors. You see them right there, Kent's Market. Fresh produce. There's a swing and a miss. Got a runner going to second, they'll let her go. Yeah, so that's a steal for Maddie. I think she was trying to get off. Uh, first is occupied, though, and she swung, so she's not able to run on that drop strike. But drop you know what? Strike. And I'd forgotten that rule, and that happened in baseball, and I totally forgot it. I didn't know what was going on oh. <laughs> until I got home and was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> that one misses. Ball one. Yep, top of the lineup. We got Mercedes Call back in the box. Another low one outside. Yeah, Green Canyon has number one. Uh, I don't have a first name, I just have a last name. Lady Bear score another run. Mercedes pops out. Yep, number one, McClimmons. McClimmons. She is pitching for Green Canyon. Doing a good job for them today. We got Bailey Tire. Batting left up there for the Bears today. This one hit high, ain't gonna leave the dirt. Catch by the second baseman. And that makes three outs. Bear score some more runs. They lead 7 0. We will be back for the top of the fourth. The grill has a wide variety of homemade appetizers. Can't decide what to get? Then build an appetizer combo. No matter what you're craving, the grill has you covered. Do you or someone you love have a birthday coming up? Looking for a fun way to make it special? Then stop by the Pie Dump. They have a delicious cake for you and will even sing you a happy birthday song. Whether you're buying or selling, let the dedicated professionals at Caldwell Banker help you save time and money. Stop by Mo Foods for some healthy sandwiches and salads. All right, welcome back. Here for the top of the fourth. Lady Bears lead 7-0. Lady Bears sit on top of Region 12, still undefeated in Region. They're in the number one spot, followed by Ridgeline and Mountain Crest, who are playing today. Their records are tied. They are deciding who is in second. This one chopped foul. Popped up high and out of play. All right, Green Canyon has a tall number five in the box. Uh, Griffins, I believe, is their last name. 
This pitch low and in the dirt for the first ball. Here comes the one two pitch from Capri, and she'll get her swinging. Strike three. First out here in the top of the fourth. And next up for Green Canyon, I believe is number three, Peterson. She's in the four hole. So let's see what kind of hitter she is. Good eye on that one, ball one. So we're gonna miss, evens the count. One ball, one strike with one out, nobody on. This one low swings anyway, strike two. Yeah, Caprice got her on the hook. Capri with a one two pitch from misses. Not by much. Look pretty good out here. Evens the count at two. This one goes inside. So we get a small break from the wind. Full count from Capri. This one swung on and caught by Josie Larkin. Yeah, good play by Josie. She does a good job. She's a good infielder. Years ago, she used to be a catcher. Also did a great job, but either middle infield or the corners, she does very well. Right, we got number 36. All right, welcome back. Sorry about the sorry about the uh, dropout, I guess. We still have number thirty-six and in the box for Green Canyon. This one way outside from Capri. So we've got two balls, one strike. I think we got two strikes. I think she fouled off twice. Now a full count. Yeah, we get technical issues here and there, but we come right back. This one fouls away. Like the, the grill has completed their enclosed patio, if you haven't went and seen it. They have glass doors on it, which can be opened during the warmer months. Go check out the new seating and enjoy live music on Friday and Saturday nights from 7 to 9 over at the grill. No kidding. That sounds awesome. Capri gets another one. Yeah, Hinton goes down swinging. That's good uh, inning for the Bears. All right. Let's say thanks to our sponsors of these commercials, and we will be back for the bottom half of the inning. Reserve a lane at the Bowling Center today. Cosmic Bowling is on Fridays and Saturdays from 6 to 8 p.m. Pay $10 for your shoes and two hours of bowling. Mondays are family night, which costs $6 for shoes and two games. Or swing by on $2 Tuesdays. Be sure to ask about their birthday package. No matter the occasion, come have fun, and while you're at it, order any of your favorites from the grill. The Pedham's Backroom is a perfect location for any event in your life. Let them make the day special with great customer service, a variety of food options, and plenty of deliciousness. Reserve your spot today by calling 435-257-3947. 
Soup's on at the grill Monday through Saturday. With a new tasty soup every day, you can pick up lunch or dinner all week long. Find out which flavor is your favorite by picking up a small bowl for $3.99 or make it a large for $5.99. If you're like the lady bears and have game, bring it on to Old West Game. Get hand-cut jerky and salami with everything boned out. Open during the hunting season, closed on Sundays. Kent's is your one-stop shop for fresh produce, bakery items, deli, and meat. Stop by today for fast, friendly service. All right, well, welcome back. Here for the bottom of the fourth. Lady Bears look to get more runs on the board. First pitch, low, ball one. This one hit over to center. A good single for her. Yeah, great, great hit by Taylor. So that brings up our number four batter, Capri Toon. This one hit, it's gonna stay fair, no, foul ball. Yeah, Capri's been doing a good job driving the ball this year. All right, here comes the 0-1 pitch from Green Canyon's pitcher. Hit in the exact same spot, goes foul. <laughs> Consistency, right? That's right. She's trying to get everybody to shift over the left side, and then she's gonna smack it center right. Call it good. I hope not, that's where we are. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> It'll be a most home run. This pitch goes high for a ball. Well, speaking of where we are, uh, we've got something new going in the Coke trailer in our little snack shack. We're doing walking tacos today. So if you're not here yet and you're coming, make sure you stop in there and get one. Or if you're coming to the JV game, uh, you might want to think about getting one. Did I call it? This one goes right center. She'll get a double as they send a runner home. Thinks about making a triple out of it, and she'll stay at second. <laughs> yeah, Capri being pretty conservative right there. Taylor doing a great job getting it in. Speed up runner comes in for Capri. And we got junior Cody Gibbs on second base. So good start for the Bears. This one a little inside for ball one. So we got Ashley Hess, Bear versus catcher in the box. This one rolls across home plate. Capri stays at second, or sorry, Cody. <laughs> Cody and Capri are as one. <laughs> Good team player right there. This one hit. Good poke out here to right field. This is going to hit the fence. Yeah, great shot by Ashley. And Ashley gets all the way to third, bringing in Cody Gibbs for another Lady Bears run. Yeah, stand up triple, not too bad. Not too shabby. That was a great hit, though. Yeah. 
That takes us to Oakley Trap. She's playing first base for the Bears this year. Speed up runner comes in for over there on third. Yeah, it looks like it's Olivia Taylor again. So low for the ball. Yeah, as mentioned in baseball, they're a ridge line. They are also tied for first in the region. Really? This one up and a nice catch. Out there in the left field by Green Canyon. Yeah, that was a great effort out there. That was a tough ball. With this wind, uh, the movement on there, she did a great job. Way to stick with them. Uh, Olivia did not tag up on third, so she had to go back. We got Oakley Maxfield in the box for the Bears. This one in there, strike one. So yeah, baseball's tied for first with Skyview. They'll meet them next week for a three-game series. And that, that should decide region. So we're going to miss strike two. Oakley falls behind quick, 0-2. One ball, two strikes, one out and one on. This one hit, goes foul. Staying alive with a one, two count. Next up for the Lady Bears will be Mountain Crest. That game will be over the hill on Thursday. She'll take one for the team. So we have two on now. All right, that's puts Mad Dog in the box. Maddie Morris for the Bears. And scooped out of the dirt, ball one. Well, luckily the wind is back, so <laughs> I was afraid that was, you know, gonna stay gone for a while, but it's here. Bring your mittens. This one hit. Yeah, good hard hit, third, couldn't handle it. Good job. Runner goes in. We got two on still. This time first and second. Uh, get Josie Larkin in the box for the Bears. Starts out with the ball one. Another low one ball two. Two on with one out. Here in the bottom of the fourth. Nothing to hit there. Jill Walker and load the bases up once again. 
and they'll talk about it on the mound. Well, that's okay. We're in a good spot. We're at the top of the order. We've got Sadie Call coming up. You know, she's played for 100 years, and she can play any position defensively that she wants to. Uh, I know earlier in her career, I guess you could say, she was caught for a while. I've seen her play the infield. She's a good shortstop. Um, and it wasn't until last year, I think, she heard her first, hit her first home run because she's just been bunting and slapping for so long that uh, they've never needed her to hit deep. But she can do that, too. So Slick will be happy to have her in the fall. First one a ball to Mercedes Call. Second one hit high and out of play, foul ball. Outside, ball two. This one hit deep. It's going to split out there to left center. That's a good double for Mercedes. Yeah, great hit by Mercedes. Now Green Canyon's coach coming out of the mound. Bears have a substantial lead. It looks like we do have a pitching change number 30, 36, 36. 36 is Hinton. On Saturday, Saturday, April 21st from 5 to 8 p.m., the Pie Dump is hosting their monthly steakhouse dinner. Call today to reserve your spot. They will serve a ribeye steaks. Portobello ribeyes, a fish dinner similar to halibut or pork. Uh, the cost is $16.25 a plate. Appetizers and desserts will be available. Mo Foods is Bear River Live's home run sponsor. For the Lady Bears, during any of the region games, if the Bears hit a home run, Moe's will give them two free Bear specials, one for them and another for a friend. Well, how generous. That's awesome. You know, that's one thing I was kind of talking about the other day with some of the girls is last year, and we lost, what, three, five seniors last year? Anyway, we had home run after home run every game last year. I don't know what the deal was. I don't know if they fed off each other, but we had Hobbs and Valverde and they would hit it out of the park and then everybody else would start hitting it out. This year we've been a little quieter. Still good hitting. Just because it's not out of the park doesn't mean it's not a good hit, but last year I remember having just a lot, a lot, a lot go out. So, But Bears hitting very well this year. Heard a lot of the good things of Trap and Valverde in the college level. Yeah, that's fun to see, isn't it? Looks like we're ready to go. You got Bailey Tire in the box. All right, we'll see what this new pitcher can do for Green Canyon. Starts off with the ball. Down low, another ball. This 
This one looked close. It's still a ball. 3 out to Bailey. She's just probably getting warmed up in there, so. And there's a first strike from this new pitcher. That one in there again, strike two. Yeah, Bailey looking to walk there. Got a full count now. One out and two on. Doesn't shot back to the pitcher. Get the easy out at first, which can't handle it. But he's gonna take off to second. That'll bring in one run. And two runs. The belly gets all the way to third. Off the air at first. Yeah, Bears doing a good job putting the ball in play. That brings up our third batter <clears throat> in the three hole, at least, Taylor Fox. Taylor Fox smacks this one deep, and it's out of here. Taylor Fox with a Moles sponsored home run. Just mentioned that she will get free meal for her and a friend. Yeah, great hit by Taylor. She must have heard me talking about the home runs. And with that, this game is going to be over. Yeah, they have a mercy rule, 15 after 3, and 10 got, after 5. And that got us to 16 here in the bottom of the fourth. Yeah, yep. good job by the Bears. Another good win for the Lady Bears. Like I said, as they stay on top, first place, we'll see who gets second after today. Ridgeline and Mountain Crest are battling it out. Over there. Like it says, the next step for the Lady Bears is going to be Mountain Crest over there. We'll bring you that game. And then after that, baseball will be wrapping up their series with Ridgeline. We'll be over there on Friday bringing you that one as well. The next week, it gets busy. A lot of makeup games coming on. We got Lady Bears softball. They will be taking on Logan twice. That'll be a Thursday and a Friday. And on Wednesday, we will be covering the second game of the series between Fairver Boys Baseball and Skyview. Instead of Friday, like our schedule shows, if you went and picked one of them up at any of our sponsors' locations. Uh, but the Lady Bears will start off on Tuesday at Ridgeline. Your streaming schedule is also on your website, is it not? So you yeah. can look it up anytime in case yeah. you didn't pick one up. That is the most updated one. That's brlivestream.com. But we also try to let Facebook know where we're going to be. Kind of give them, give them a heads up for that. And we'd like to thank you for watching. Sorry about the delay. You know, we started... Start a little late. We have some power issues at the BR field. We need to get that worked out. Yeah, and construction. Yeah, they got they got a lot going on here. Hopefully, clear, <laughs> hopefully one will fix the other. <laughs> clear the clear the sponsors off the screen as they've got the grass tour up here. As they start ripping apart the tennis courts. Yeah, I think they're going to put some more parking back here so you'll have better parking to come and watch ball games. As well as tennis track. 
football. That'll all be good. Yeah, we'd like to thank our sponsors right there on the screen. Andy Marchant Photography. Go check his stuff out, andymarchantphotography.com. We'd like to thank Caldwell Banker. And we'd like to thank the Pied Up and the Grill being our main softball sponsors, as well as Kent's Market. We'd like to thank DMV Electric for their contributions. Mo Foods for being our home run sponsor. You saw it right there at the end. Taylor Fox hit one out of the park. We'd like to thank Tanglewood Studios for being us from the beginning. Go out there. And the more kids you take out there, the lower the rates are. So don't be afraid if you got lots of kids. You know, there's plenty for them to do out there. I really think Old West Game Processing. Well, that is it for us in this one. Lady Bears will win it 16-0. And we will see you on Thursday over at Mountain Crest. Woohoo! for more Lady Bear softball. Thanks, Amy, for joining us. My pleasure. All right. We'll see you Thursday. Thanks for watching. You've been watching Bear Ever Live here on the Watch It Network. Thank you, KSL.